Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And that might just be you, right? So, today's video is going to be on the top 10 canned goods that you need to prep for. And make sure that you have a kind of a good stockpile of, just in case of a natural disaster or emergency situation, loss of job, the list goes on and on and on because of the world that we live in. So you just need to be prepared is the whole key to this. So let's get going on this. Now, what I did was is I went online and I researched what every scientist or anybody out there, I researched the top 10 canned goods. And this is the list that I came up with based on what I found on the computer, okay? Everybody maybe have your own top 10, but this is to give the beginners a pretty good idea of what the consistents out there all are saying and basically kind of agree on. So, without any more ado, let's get rolling. Number 10. You know we're not going to start with number one. Come on. Number 10. The good old dice tomatoes. Now you're asking yourself, why would I get, you know, why do I want to get dice tomatoes? Maybe not like tomato sauce or something like that. You know, if you're Italian, you just don't... You want diced tomatoes. You can always smash these down and make sauce. But if you got sauce, you can't make it back into a tomato now, can you? So, diced tomatoes are the way to go. So these are what you want to get. Alright? So number 10 is diced tomatoes. Now if you shop around, you can usually pick these up. They're relatively cheap. You can get them in all different shapes and sizes too. It's just whatever it is you can afford and how much space you do have. You know, you have these big cans, you can get the smaller cans, and you can even get the little dinky small cans. The idea is, you have something in your cupboard, in your closet, packed away in case of emergency. So, diced tomatoes is number 10. Number 9. Coming in at number 9. Everybody likes corn, right? That would be number 9. Corn. Canned corn. All right, you can put this in a lot of different uh, dishes that you're making. You know, if you're making soups, if you're making stews, um, whatever it is, you know, uh, you can add in corn. Yes, there's not a lot of uh, good nutrients in corn because we all know, uh, well, you kind of get what I'm saying. But, no pun intended, you know, it is a filler. And if it's a survival situation, you're looking for fillers. So corn would be a good filler. Number eight. We're sticking in the family of veggies. So number eight today is green beans. Now you can get cut green beans. You can get French style uh, green beans. You can get whole green beans in cans. Um, you can get them with salt, without salt, um, however you want to do it, you know. But the point of it is, you know, green beans is like a, a staple food, you know. Everybody, most generally everybody likes green beans. And if, But if you don't, but if it's a survival situation, you know, green beans are the way to go. Number seven. Hmm. We still got ways to go here. Number seven, the magical fruit, baked beans. Now, you can do a lot of stuff with a can of baked beans. You can add stuff to it, you can add meat to it, you can add bacon to it, burger to it, um, whatever else. You know, it's good as a side dish. And the best thing about this is you can open this up with your manual can opener. Don't forget that, people. A manual can opener. If you don't have power, your electric can opener is phew, useless. You can eat these right out of the can, room temperature. They're delicious. 
and they're full of all types of good goodies for your body. So, baked beans. Number six. Now we're kind of moving up the list here. All right. Kind of putting the veggies and stuff behind us. Let's get into something that's more substantial, right? You know, I mean, you got to have something that's going to fill you up. So, number six is tuna fish. Now, you can buy whichever kind of tuna fish you want to buy. Some people say to buy an oil because it will last longer. I don't like the oil. And one of the reasons being I buy all mine in water is, is because if I'm going to, say, open this can of tuna fish and make a dish and I'm going to put it in there, I don't want the oil from this in with my meal, if you get what I'm saying. So it's better just to buy it with water. Um, there are some studies out there that say that if it's packed in oil, it may last longer. Um, but I guess it's to each his own. If you want to get it with oil, if you enjoy that, then by all means, buy it with oil. But for me, um, I'm going to stick with in water and that's that tuna fish number five almost kind of another bean product but everybody out there you know especially on a cold winter day or something you know if you live up north down here in florida we don't get very many of those but if you're up north and everything else and the power's out but if you do have some type of a gas stove or some way to cook with or warm stuff up with or melt chili is your best bet because you can pop this little top you don't even need a can opener and you take this pour it in your little pot put it over your little stove of whatever kind it may be and next thing you know you have a meal you can get it with beans without beans you can get it any way you want they have all different types flavors you name it they got it or melt chili number four now we're gonna get a little bit more uh, meat on your bones here okay now number four would be roast beef fully cooked roast beef in a can okay you can get these at walmart they're a little over a buck and if you can find them uh, sometimes they're a little bit hard to find uh but they they do sell them um, they're very reasonable. I know if you are a member at um, like the big box stores, Costco, BJ's, one of those, Sam's, you know, you can buy these things in bulk. Um, at Walmart itself, you can you buy them single, um, but, you know, they're really good, you know, and they have a very long shelf life. And it's meat that you can be putting into your body or your family's body in an emergency situation. Number three, we're getting down there, folks. Bear with me. Here we go. Beef stew. Now, there's all different types of beef stews out there. You can, you can buy Denti Moore. You can get, um, I think Kirkland's makes one. Um, usually all the store brands, um, they all have their own and everything else. The biggest thing is, you know, beef stew, it comes with the meat, potatoes, carrots, and the whole nine yards, all in a little can with the pull top again, which is a bonus and you know there it is and a push come to shove you could eat this without exactly heating it up at room temperature so there's another bonus number two on the list we're getting down there number two on the list is chicken breast canned chicken breast now We've had tuna fish and we've got roast beef. We've got chicken breast here. You know, things are going pretty good here. You know, I mean, you can make some really good meals. You know, sometimes in a survival situation, you have to think outside the box and you have to come up with something really, you know, you may not normally do in your own kitchen, but you know, if you got to throw a few things together, you may be surprised of just how good it tastes. Don't knock it till you try it. And if you're hungry, I guarantee you, you're going to eat anything. So number two is chicken breast. So before we get to number one, which is the big star of the show here, we're going to recap. We got our tomatoes, diced tomatoes, corn, green beans, baked beans, tuna fish, hormel chili, and roast beef, beef stew, 
chicken breast. And the number one thing that everybody out there on the web says that you should have as a product in your emergency supply food kit. Ta-da! Everybody's favorite, it's Spam. It's the wonderful packed lunchy meat. Now, did everybody just like go, oh God, no. Yes, if you're gonna eat Spam, you know, um, preferably you wanna make sure that you have a way to cook it. Uh, if I had to eat it right out of the can, I don't know how well I would like that, but if I was hungry enough, I would do it. But if you can fry this, um, it is actually very good. Now, Spam comes in, this is classic. They have a wide a range of flavors. So you may like something with a little bit more spice or something like that. You have to go to the store and look because there's just all types of Spam nowadays. But Spam is the number one winner of the top 10 canned goods that you need to have in your food emergency pantry. So that was the top 10 canned goods. I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Get out there and start prepping. You know what you need. Go get it. Talk to you all on the flip side.